So those are some of the things that we're doing. But in, in general, the cereal category is a place that a lot of folks might come to because the, the price of a bowl of cereal with, with milk and with fruit is less than a dollar. So you can imagine why a consumer under pressure might find that to be a good place to go. Right. We don't eat cereal for dinner because it's affordable, you jabroni. We eat cereal for dinner because all the weekend guests have gone home and we spent the weekend cooking and cleaning and we've gone in the guest room and stripped the beds and we fit, sit down to finally watch our murder show and have some peace and we have cereal for dinner. Or you just found out that one of the people you went to school with died suddenly and you realize that you are careening towards your own death, that it's all downhill from here. You're closer to the end of your life than the beginning of your life and you just are having an existential crisis and can't manage to make dinner. Or you've spent the last week giving people their annual reviews and you are just physically and emotionally drained and you've spent so much time making decisions that you have decision fatigue and you cannot stand to make another decision about dinner. So I love my cereal for dinner, but it's not because it's affordable, because I can make leek and potato soup that's affordable. I can make bean soup that's affordable. I can make a grilled cheese sandwich that's affordable. We're having cereal for dinner because we're tired and we're overworked and our brains just can't handle any more decisions. The advertisement that you should have made is Tony the Tiger coming up to me at the end of the day when I am physically and emotionally drained, putting his hand on my shoulder and going, girl, I got you. <laughs>